Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with fellow beat writer Randy Rosetta, and it's uh, week three of the LSU uh, 2014 football season. The Tigers playing Louisiana Monroe, six o'clock in Tiger Stadium. Uh, another game against a team from not one of the big conferences. Uh, last week, LSU really did a good job of taking care of business. Scored on five straight possessions. Uh, the first play of the game, longest pass play in, L in LSU history. Uh, they did, looks like they, as far as getting prepared for a team that uh, might have been a snoozer for the fans, they were certainly prepared, and uh, that's the challenge again this week. It is, especially with as young as this team is. I know a lot of young guys played. Four freshmen scored their first touchdown. Brandon Harris threw his first touchdown. The sense of urgency was apparent and really turned this game into a wrap quickly. The turning point, which was one of the things I did after the game, was that first touchdown. As soon as that happened, you could kind of see both teams react to the way that the school final score indicated. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see that this week. There's got to be a little bit of a, you would think there would be a little bit of a come down this week. Uh, ULM has got uh, two pretty uh, uh, pretty good victories so far, being Wake Forest, uh, not one of the powerhouses in the Big Five Conference, but a Big Five Conference team probably uh, shouldn't have beaten them, but uh, uh, beat Idaho, and uh, now they come to Tiger Stadium. Um, uh, Again, it's going to be uh, staying focused, and uh, I'm sure the coaches want to have the same type of game. Get on top early, play a lot of people, because they've got a lot to get ready for in two weeks with Mississippi State. Well, and Monroe comes in a little bit different than, than an FCS team. And to be fair, Sam Houston State had put up huge numbers in their two games, and that's a, a team that competes for the national championship at that level every year. The difference is ULM has a little bit more depth behind their first line guys and they know how to beat big teams. Les Miles made a point of mentioning that they beat Alabama in 2007, and then three years ago they beat Arkansas, I believe, in Little Rock. It was not in favor, it was in Little Rock. So they've got, there may not be many guys around from that team, but coaches know. Todd Berry knows a little bit about putting together a game plan to at least hang around and have a chance to upset. I don't think that will happen. I think LSU will win the game, but I think it will be, Monroe will put up a little bit more of a fight than St. Houston State. Yeah, and we'll probably see more uh, dual quarterback action, both quarterbacks getting snaps. We'll see lots of freshmen play again. Maybe some of the ones, I think there's only seven left that haven't played from the recruiting class, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, follow us on NOLA.com for uh, Randy Rosetta. I'm Jim Klein-Peter, and we'll see you on NOLA.com.